I'm so shocked that you guys didn't actually get to go on the Orient Express prior to filming this movie, but I guess you guys still kind of had that experience of being confined to a small space with each other still on set, correct? Yes. Yeah, yes. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let's talk about being on set on these replica trains. I think probably even though we didn't get to go on the Orient Express, filming was as close to it as it could be. Even more so because that only lasts three days and we were filming together for months. Yeah. Um, and I think they made the carriages a little bit wider for the cameras. But otherwise it was, as Josh said, totally as it was. Um, yeah. So we got a full experience. Yeah, it's like another character, you know, like uh, Kenneth and all the you know set designers and everybody, like they really pay attention to everything. And mm. it was amazing to get in there and see the, the mm. furniture. Everything was so fucking cool. I was actually one of the few that got to ride on the Orient Express mm -hmm. here from Venice. And I actually, it was cool because watching... Oh, you won it? You, you did it? I did it, oh, yeah. Wow. So it was cool because then seeing the footage today, it gave me this personal experience and made yeah. me feel like I actually was on that train. Of course, your guys' looked a lot roomier. Yeah. Like, right. definitely, ours was definitely maybe like half yeah. the, the size, but it made me feel like, okay, I was actually on that train. I feel a little bit more connected to the movie now. How is it very noisy? No, actually, it's like it's did you like not it? Super, it? It was so much fun. There were some moments where it went a little bit faster, and it's a little bit crazy. It's hard to walk down. Did um, you hate the yeah. people you were with by the end of it? I didn't. You know, <laughs> you did. I can Wait, see it in your no, face. No, no, I didn't actually, because we're all friends. We've known each other for so long, and we it was almost like a bonding experience because you're so confined within the 24 hours. Oh, it was it just a day you were there? Just a day, right? And one full night. I think the three days would be like. Yeah, yeah I mean, so then for you guys being on that small train, of course, it wasn't a full 24 hours, but for months, did you feel very close to each other afterwards? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we bonded really good, I think, and it was. Because we, we were always in the same mm. com compartment. So, yeah. I, so, you know, you become very, after take, you start joking around. And and I think it's that thing of people, um, I remember talking to someone, and they were like, oh, we won't all stay friends. And I was like, I really think we will. Yeah. It was like, it wasn't like a, it's not like a false bond. It was, you can't like get away from each other. So you're just yeah, really true. going through it with everyone. Plus the story itself is so sort of intense that um, people are very vulnerable in that situation, in the yeah. acting stuff, which immediately opens it up anyway. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The right. movie doesn't come out until November, so for now, what can you tell us about the characters that you play in the movie? I play Mary Debenham, who is a governess, and she's traveling from Baghdad originally to England. Um, it's wonderful because in the script, which we haven't had before, she has a quite a close relationship with another character that I sort of explored, um, but also adds weight to uh, everything that's unfolding. And she really likes Poirot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's funny too, I think, that thing of, of how one character is approached uh, in terms of Poirot. I think there's quite a lot of room that we maybe haven't seen so much before and how the characters feel about him. Uh, and she's a big fan, she thinks he's great. Yeah, uh, I play Benjaminio Marquez and he's, um He's a uh, uh, Cuba that immigrated to the States with this, you know, American dream thing. And he becomes uh, a very successful car dealership, ship, ship dealer. Car dealer. Car, car dealer, mm -hmm. thank you. Car dealer. And uh, he's traveling in Europe because he wants to bring some new autos, uh, some new brand of cars to the States. Nice. Yes. So, of course, because this experience was so different, you went into it knowing that you were going to be able to bond with your co-stars of the amazing stellar cast of this film. Who was the one person that you thought, through this experience, I know that we're going to be in tight quarters, I really want to get to know that person the most? I think it was a bunch of, like, I, me personally, I was very intrigued by everybody. So yeah. I, you know, with one person I was there, and then the other, and then... And also, yeah. I don't think you can know that you're going to get on with a group of people. Like, I thought, oh, yeah, I really true. hope we have a really good filming experience and that yeah. we all, you know, do a great cast job. Um, I think liking everyone actually very quickly was not unexpected, but it wasn't how well we got on, I think, was um, was interesting. Yeah.
I feel like you could definitely tell the chemistry between the cast, especially just listening to you guys on the panel. You could tell that you guys actually had real chemistry. Oh, yeah, yeah, even when we all saw each other downstairs, <laughs> someone goes, oh my God, I've never seen a group of people love each other so much. It was just wonderful. <laughs> yeah. It was really wonderful. And yeah. I think a lot of that is to Ken. Plus, Derek, Tom, uh, Judy have all worked with him on stage and he's worked with the crew a lot. So there was like, so there's already a feeling of closeness yeah. that we sort of just fit into. Right.